There is the final abode of the wicked. It is a lake of fire and brimstone. For the murderer facing his victims, there is a judgment. For the abortionist facing all the little babies that he's killed, there is a judgment. For the rapist that's, that's, that's molested these women, there is a judgment. To the drug dealer that's ruined the lives of countless thousands, there is a judgment. No more pleading, no more begging. No more words. Time for words are past and gone. No more opportunities. No more, no more revivals. No more preaching. No more invitations. No more, no more, no more. What preacher can I do? Oh, what can you do? Some Christian, tell them what they can do. Somebody that's been born again today, you tell them what they can do. What must I do, the Philippian jailer said to Paul and Silas. What must I do, he said, to be saved? And Paul answered him and said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. If you have any sense at all about you to understand that you're here and you're going somewhere, you ought to take heartily in your heart that warning. He warned you. The public school system didn't warn you. The government didn't warn you. My friend, the secular society that you live in didn't warn you. They don't know what they're talking about. You understand? They do not know what they're talking about. But this book I have in my hand is the Word of God. And he said, I warn you. Yay, he said. I warn you, listen to the voice of the Son of God. He said, I warn you, the one that went to the cross and bore your sin in his body, the one whose back they laid open with the cat of nine tails, the one they nailed the nails in his hands and in his feet. And he said, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. He said, I forewarn you. He said, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I'm alive forevermore, and have the keys of death and hell. I forewarn you warn you. I saw heaven opened. Behold a white horse and he that sat upon it was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. He said I forewarn you. And the throne of God and of the Lamb become one throne. He said I warn you. There is none greater. In Revelation 1 verse 18 he is called the Almighty. He is God Almighty manifested in flesh. There is is none greater. He's God if there is God, and there is no greater God than the one that said, I forewarn you. Where you going, dear friend? You've had a warning.